morning everyone and welcome to my shave of the day um, thank you guys for watching um, I want to welcome my new subscribers thank you guys for subscribing and if you are not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button down below so you can see all my new videos every Wednesday when it's uploaded also go and follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at the wet shave cave also leave a link in the description below where you can follow me on those other platforms i would really really appreciate that now as i mentioned in last week's video um, i mentioned the giveaway i'm planning now watch until the end of this video so you'll know all the details about the giveaway i'm shaving with vintage razor the gillette ball and Tech. Um, I'm excited to try this razor. Now, this specific one, um, the date code is a uh, G4. So this one was manufactured in the year 1961. Um, this one has a nickel finish. Um, but and judging by the weight of this razor, I, th I think the handle might be a, a brass handle because it's very um, hefty for this size so I would say it has a brass handle now these razors were manufactured um, from 1931 up to 1970 so that's 31 years um, you can see I don't know if you can see this one a little bit faded but on the top cap can see the Gillette logo. I don't know if I can adjust the light. You can see it there. Um, so it's in the Gillette logo is embossed on this. So, and it's only on the tech razors that were manufactured from the 1950s and upwards. Um, before the 1950s, they didn't have that um, embossed on the razors. Um, so I'm really excited to to try this razor now this one was made in the USA American razor so I'm excited to try this now the blades I'm using today is the Rockwell razors blades um, Swedish stainless steel um, excited to try this never used it before never used this razor before I'm super excited um, now the soap I'm using is the Proraso red um, has a sandalwood scent nice sandalwood nice winter um, soap so I'll use that and the pre-shave cream also from Parasa Red so the brush I'm also using is a yucky 24 millimeter um, black marble handle um, plus soft I think I pronounced it correctly, plus soft or ply soft, um, not um, synthetic brush, really nice brush. I ordered this last week. Um, so I'm going to make my lather. I have a new bowl as well. This bowl has those bumps in it to make a nice lather. Okay, so I'm going to make my lather now. This is a really, really nice soap i love the sandalwood scent from pura so i'm just going to wet my brush give it a few shakes now just in this tub just going to load my brush with the soap and then i will continue my lather in that bowl now that bowl my friend um he moved to cape town recently um, he sent me a message and told me he walked into a shop and uh, he saw this bowl and it said, said on the label it's a salad bowl and he told me he thinks it would actually work perfectly to to make a lather so he bought me this bowl um, thank you so much um, and to see how it works today it's a nice Lather, soap loading onto the brush. 
So how are you guys been? How's your week been so far? What's your shave of the day? Okay, I think that will do it. Okay, nice ball fit into my hand. Yes, that's working. So just to save some time on the video, I'm just gonna stop recording to finish my lather. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I have a nice creamy lather whipped up. That sandalwood scent is amazing. You can smell that there. Yes, truly, truly stunning. Amazing, amazing scent. I'm just gonna wet my face and apply that pre-shave cream. This scent's also really, really amazing. Also sandalwood scent. I'm just gonna use a little bit like that. And massage it into my beard. Now I've let my beard grow for a couple of days now. Um, this is a five day stubble and growth. Um, I just wanted to give my face a break and um, let my skin rest a little bit um, before I shave. So this is going to be nice to test that um, Rockwell um, blades and that Gillette Tech um, Ball and Tech razor. So just massage it in for this pre-shave cream. It makes it softens the beard and protects your skin, adds an extra extra layer of protection for a more comfortable shave. Really, really high quality. Rosso is um, made in Italy, so the Italians know what they are doing with their soap making and shaving products. Okay, now before I'm going to load my, my blade, I forgot to mention this is a three-piece razor, three-piece tick. And the blade comes in a envelope like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop the blade into there. Okay, the blade alignment seems perfect. A slight overhang from the blade. So just be aware of that. Yes. Perfect, okay, so now I'm just gonna put on my lather. I like this brush, um, the handle is longer. Really, really nice, this shaving cream, not shaving cream, soap, it's a soap, the shaving soap. Really easy lathering. I can put a little bit of water onto the brush. Just work in those here to lift them up. Perfect. I'm really excited to try that razor. Okay, first pass with the Gillette Ball End Tech. I see, I missed a spot there. Eh? 
couldn't see. Got it up there. Okay, first pass. I can really feel it's a very, very sharp blade. Are already like this. <laughs> oh, wow. Five day growth, and it's so, so smooth. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. I'm, I'm not, I think I might be over exaggerating, but this is stunning. Wow. Absolutely amazing. That blade, I really, really like that. Wow. I'm really impressed by that blade. Never used it before. They come with the um, Rockwell razors. Now, I don't own a Rockwell razor yet, but maybe, maybe in the future. I love my vintage razors, but uh, I'd like to try the more modern razors. I have the Fatip um, Piccolo. I used that in the show a few weeks ago. Or was it a month ago? I think it was a month ago. Truly amazing now. I think the soap dried up a little bit, so I'm just going to with my brush again, just go over that. There you go. You can hear that audio feedback. It's really Really nice. Wow, oh, that's amazing. Really, really impressed. Now I have. To, I don't know if you guys watched the um, Formula One this weekend, but wow, what a, an exciting race! I'm super glad for Lando Norris getting a podium, and congrats to Max for stopping for winning the Austrian Grand Prix. Now these um, tech razors, um, they were thousands and thousands, um, what do I want to say now? Oh, that's what I wanted to say. There were thousands manufactured um, in the world. So on a rarity scale, it would be a one. Um, where five would be that it belongs in a museum and one being you can find it in a everyday antique shop or um, barn sale or whatever in the US, not here in South Africa. Um, 
but it's still, still very common to find here in South Africa. Um, if you just ask around. So, just gonna rinse my face for the second pass. Wow, that slickness. Still, still the amazing slickness on a Carrasso. That nice sandalwood scent. Stunning. Stunning. Very, very warm scent. Truly, truly amazing. I'm really liking this brush. Nice long handle. Super slick. Really, really nice. Showing cream. Okay, now for our second pass. Just rinse it out a bit. Oh, you can hear that audio feedback, it's satisfying. So smooth. Really impressed by that blade and this razor. I would say this um, razor, I think it's uh, between a mild and aggressive, um, so in between, I would say. So, so smooth. Very comfortable razor and the hand with the knurling on it. Really nice grip. And because I think it's a brass handle, the makes it more heavier. Makes this a stunning razor. So I've just uh, adjusted my camera angle a little bit. Um, I had a few difficult Difficulty um, seeing myself because the camera is in the way of the mirror. So hopefully this goes better. Um, I just really want to thank everyone again for all your support. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, thank you so, so much. Um, and to show my appreciation, um, I'm going to do that giveaway, which I will discuss shortly after the shave. So be sure to stay around and watch to the end.
Okay, rinse the face for our third pass. Still super slick. Super, super slick. Amazing. Nice ball. Now this soap is actually the first shaving soap I used ever um, when starting out with wet shaving a year and a half ago and still really amazing. I want to get the aftershave um, splash of low or lotion. Um, yes, lotion splash um, of the sandalwood but it's uh it's difficult to find here in south africa and it's so pricey so i'm still still looking perfect Third pass against the grain. Now I'm trying not to put much pressure or any pressure at all onto my skin and just let the razor do the work. I want to see how this razor performs. Wow, so smooth. Now this weekend I'm uh, I'm traveling, traveling a little bit. I'm going to my hometown in the Eastern Cape um, for, um, I think it's two months, yes, I think two months to do some practicals at my um, old school. So I never will need to adjust my shaving setup uh, to a new bathroom so we'll see how that goes Amazing blade. I would really highly recommend this blade. Um, if you are in South Africa and you would like to acquire one of these um, Rockwell razor blades, I will leave a link in the description below. Um, we can buy it at uh, Bundu Beard. They sell it. So you can buy it there. And the Yucky Brush. Also, you can get it at uh, River Valley Trading. Yucky South Africa. And Bundu Beard. So I'll also leave a link in the description where you can buy them. Right. Now, wow, that's, 
amazing, amazing blade. That's gonna rinse my face. Wow, it's so, so slick. Amazing, amazing. I don't even have to do some pickups. Really slick, amazing. Grab the towel. And that sandalwood scent is stunning. Really, really stunning. With my shirt a bit but wow really really amazing okay now I'm just going to splash on my homemade witch hazel and rose water mix Stunning. I love, love witch hazel, especially for its skin properties. It tightens everything up. Wow, so slick. Really like it. I can still smell the, the sandalwood slightly through the witch hazel very nice now the aftershave balm i'm using it just from nivea the protect and care replenishing post shave balm and i can't open it because my hand is wet okay keeping it real so just Small amount like that. Stunning. I'm so, so happy with that shave. Really, really nice. Nice shave. Really enjoyed that. Okay, so um, just to uh, recap, I've used the Gillette Ball End Tech, made in the USA, 1961, um, manufactured in 1961, with the Razor Rock blades. Really stunning blades. Really, really stunning. I pref um, would highly recommend this. To anyone um, and we've used the Parasa Red pre-shave cream and the Parasa, let me just get it here, the Parasa Red um, shaving soap with sandalwood, homemade witch hazel splash and the Nivea gear and protect aftershave balm with the yucky black marble 24 millimeter ply soft or plus soft, um, not really amazing synthetic brush. Um, yes, that was the shave. So the moment you've all been waiting for, here's my announcement for the giveaway. Um, now YouTube requires me to set, set some rules for this giveaway. So please um, read them carefully and follow them precisely to enter this giveaway now i'm just going to read you the rules you must be a subscriber to my channel so if you are not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to enter this giveaway i will verify all the subscribers so in the comment section in this video you write hashtag twsc um, the wet shave cave so you write hashtag twsc in this video to enter the giveaway now the giveaway ends at 31st of July 2021, so it's open for the whole month of July. One winner will be selected. Um, I'll ship to any valid um, address. 
Um, the competition is open to South African and international subscribers. Just to note the international subscribers, if there's an international winner, um, the shipping, we can just talk about the shipping and make an arrangement. But if you're in South Africa, don't worry about the shipping. That will be totally free. So I will also provide you with a valid tracking number so you can track your amazing um, soap. Um, which I'm going to tell you now. I'm not responsible for any item that's lost in transit or stolen, so I cannot um, be held uh, reliable for that. Um, I will use a random common picker to select the winner so it will be completely fair. The winner must claim the prize within two weeks or forfeit the, the prize. So the winner can email me at uh, the wetshavecave at gmail.com. You may only enter once. Duplicate entries will be skipped by the random common picker. So make sure to enter once and tell all your friends to subscribe and enter this giveaway. Now, the prize is really, I'm really excited about that. Now, I will leave a link in the description below to Yucky South Africa's website. Now, what you're going to do, if you've won this giveaway, you go to their website and you go search in the um, product section any combo deal you would like. Um, now the combo deals is a soap and an aftershave splash deal. So you can choose any one you like and just let me know in the, in the email um, what you would like. Then I will get that for you and just provide me with your um, address and I will send it to you. Now, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to enter the giveaway. Comment in this video to enter the giveaway. So see you guys next week for another shaving video. So this is the last time I will be in this bathroom um, for now. So like I said, I'm going to, to a new place, my old school for a few months. So I'm excited for that. So see you guys next week for that shave. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.